SMT Nation, we back in today's video. We are going to be doing some downloading and we're going to test the networks. We've got the big three. Well, actually, it's a big four today, uh, technically, with FirstNet. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to download a very large game, massive Call of Duty. Uh, for those of you that play this title, the first time you downloaded it, 2.5 gigs of data required to do this. So you want to be on Wi-Fi or you want to be on a really solid internet cellular connection. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to do it on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. We're going to do Verizon. I think after Verizon I do AT&T, then I do T-Mobile, and then I do FirstNet. So we're going to be doing this. I got the timer. We're going to see how long it takes. Now we are getting the best of all worlds here. Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband. All right, so... This is their C-band, their N77, their crown jewel of their capacitive 5G experience. We're going to see, beyond just a speed test, how the download actually goes. Is it expeditiously fast or is it slow? All right, so it looks like we're just wrapping it up here. We're coming in just under a minute for the download on 5G Ultra Wideband N77 C-band for Verizon. All right, so the 5G UW doing work. It actually turned out to be the only one that it was able to do it in under one minute. All right, so a 2.5 gig game under one minute I think is very good. Remember, you're, you're, you've got a couple of factors here, right? You've got the Verizon network, obviously. You've got your phone, and then you also have the servers on the Google Play Store or the App Store or however you're connecting, right? So there's a lot of factors that go into how fast the download's going to be. So Verizon did very, very well. Okay, now we're outdoors, right? So mobile gaming, you might not be at home or on a Wi-Fi connection. I think this is a valid test to get away from a speed test and actually a, a real download, right? So let's go ahead and run this for AT&T, their 5G+, Plus, their N77 C-band, just like Verizon's. Their channel is 40 megahertz wide. Verizon's is 60, so there might be some factors there. Just over a minute, folks. One minute, eight seconds, nine seconds. It's not really a big deal. You know, give or take a couple of seconds. I think it did just fine. I will tell you that when I do speed test them, the Verizon connection is faster. T-Mobile's um, 5G UC is also available. We're going to be testing that here. But typically when I run a speed test for Verizon, I get like 400 megabits per second downlink. And then for AT&T, I get about 300 megabits per second downlink. All right, so maybe that's the difference in the speed. It shows up in about maybe a 10% difference, right? So, you know, may, that might be contributing there. Now we're doing the 5G UC for T-Mobile. Typically, I do see about 300 or 400 megabits per second downlink, okay? And I will tell you that usually when I speed test T-Mobile's 5G UC using an Ookla speed test or a fast.com or whatever the speed test is, whatever the tool, nperf, it usually does test really, really well, very fast. But you will see here we've already passed one minute and 12 seconds. We're approaching a quarter of the download. So it's taking some time, even though on a speed test it will show that it is highly capacitive, right? Three, four hundred megabits per second, just like Verizon, just like ATT. It's not really able to parlay into a real world usage where I don't know what it is. Like I said, there's other factors. It's the phone. It's the deprioritization possibly. I don't know. Typically it is the fastest carrier I test. Like now we're approaching the halfway mark. You guys will see in the download progress and we're still at like the two minute mark. Okay. So I mean, it does, it does finish the download. It's not like it times out or anything, but this, this download test on T-Mobile, although it, it, it akin to the team to the AT&T and Verizon test in terms of speeds, it just doesn't keep up. So something is happening outside of speed test that is preventing T-Mobile from actually doing the download as the speeds would indicate it should. All right, so almost three minutes. Uh, it was definitely well beyond two and a half minutes, which is twice as long as it took AT&T and even longer in comparison to Verizon. All right, so we're going to test the, the last one here. 
which is going to be FirstNet. I want to go to the speed test app to show you guys that I am connected to FirstNet. And we're going to go ahead and give it a go. Uh, we don't have access to 5G Plus yet consistently uh, for the AT&T access on FirstNet. So this is connecting to N2. This is DSS 5G. It's essentially the same thing. that look, It's their LTE network. And kind of surprisingly, it actually does pretty good. It's pretty respectable. It's actually not all that much different compared to the 5G+. Plus. Uh, so typically the N2 will test between like 100, 150 megabits. Came in at a minute and 16. So it's not just a speed test, folks. It's the fact that there is some routing. There's connectivity to servers. It's the actual like network configurations for certain tasks. This is kind of leading me to think that I need to go ahead and continue to test in some different ways to truly evaluate which network is offering a quality, meaningful experience. So don't get me wrong. I'm not going to poo-poo any carrier's network build. In my market, they're all very, very fast, and I'm blessed to have access to all these lines with all this incredible throughput and capacity. But there clearly is app usage, downloads. There's different aspects to this networking thing. So it's not just adequate to evaluate them simply on speed, you know, through a speed test, which who knows how the carriers are configuring the access on speed tests. So here is a game download for you guys. Tell me what you think about it. What are your experiences? Are they similar to mine? Are they different? I'm going to probably do some more testing moving forward in different ways. I'm going to do some file downloads. I'm going to do some transfers. I'm going to do some other things. So look for more content like this uh, and let me know. Comment and let me know what you guys want to see. And then if you like this type of content, want more, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And, you know, that helps out the channel. And also there's some things going on with the community you guys can check out here as well in the description box. Uh, and, you know, we've got a Patreon community. You can join, become a member. We've got a uh, Twitter handle and then also my Gmail address for business inquiries. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.